Good afternoon, everyone. It's Mr. Montgomery, and today we're doing more subtraction with two digit numbers and a bunch of tens. So we're just kind of doing the opposite of what we did in the last unit. Instead of putting them together, we're just kind of taking them apart. Easy enough, right? Uh, so yesterday we were kind of using those figures that we could cross out. So the, uh, what do we call them? Well, we can call them 10 sticks or 10 rods. So if we had a whole bunch of those, let's say we had, let's say these sticks are 10 rods or 10 sticks. And let's say we have 40 total. And we are going to take away 20. How many would we have left? Well, if we're not too sure, guess what we can do? This picture makes it super easy. We know we have 40 because that's how many we have right there. 10, 20, 30, 40. And we're taking away 20. And how many 10s is in 20? Just two. Or we can count them out. Ready? 10, 20. These two right here, watch. Boom, boom. Take those away. How many are left? 10, 20. We have a total of 20. So 40 minus 20 is 20. Those pictures made it so easy. But in case you don't like using those pictures or you think pictures uh, might take too long if you have to draw them, that's okay. So what we're going to do is also use a 100 chart. Get rid of these. There we go. So before we jump into any kind of crazy problems, I just want to review something super quick with you guys. Here's our 100 chart, right? Now, if every time we jump from row to row, that's actually adding or taking away tens every time we do that, right? Because what's the only uh, spot that's changing? Is it the ones or the tens? It's the tens. That's how we know we are changing or adding or subtracting by tens every time we move up or down a row on our 100 chart. We could even uh, count how many numbers are in between. Watch. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 10 regular jumps all the way going from one row to the next. So, if you ever feel unsure, you can always count the numbers all the way and you'll find that it's 10 each time. Or if you just remember that, be like, oh yeah, well, of course, it's, you know, 10, 20, 30. It goes by 10s every time we jump from row to row. Okay, so let's go right into the fun stuff. Okay, we need a number problem here. Mm. Let's see, we need a number sentence. Let's, oh, you know what? I have a die right here. Hear that tapping noise? That's a die, and I have trouble picking numbers, so I'm going to roll a die to pick for me. And it landed on four. So it's going to be four tens. And how much does four tens make? Four tens makes just 40. And real quick, I'm going to draw a picture so we don't waste too much time. Okay, I also drew out the problem in case you really like using pictures, which is fine. Whatever works for you the best, we can work with. Just have to remind me during the test what you need if you need, and maybe an extra big 100 chart. Just to help you keep track of things, that's fine. Or if you need an extra second to draw your 10 sticks, that's fine too. Alright? Or if you need a number line, I'll give you a number line, guys. You just got to let me know. All right, so let's think about this. We have 40 minus 10. And right here, we have 40 on this side, which is four tens, right? And we have 10 or one 10 on this side. So 
we have to remember when we subtract, we start with the whole number, the total, the super big number that we're taking away from because we're not putting things together anymore. We have an extra rule when we subtract. We have to have the big number first, always. So let's think about what we have to take away from this big number, which is 10. We have to take away 10. And with our picture, it means we're going to take away one 10 stick. And I can go ahead and cross out one 10 stick. And we're just going to count how many we have left. That's it. Ready? Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30. And that's if we use our 10 stick pictures. We don't have to. We have this other cool tool that we're going to be using, which is our 100 chart. And here it is. So it was, we, were, we had 40. And it was minus 10, right? So how many 10, how many sets of 10 are in 10? I know it sounds like I'm trying to confuse you, but I promise you I'm not. How many sets of 10 are there? Just one. So it's one jump. And we land on 30. That's it. And when we subtract with a 100 chart, you have to make sure you always move upwards because you want to get closer to the one when you subtract. You're getting closer to this one right here that's kind of has a dancing box around it. Okay. So let's go back and do another one. Except this time, we're not going to use any pictures. Okay. And I'm going to roll my die again to pick another number for me. And I just have to make sure it's bigger than 30. Oh. I got lucky. It's going to be 7 tens. That's, we know 7 tenths makes 70. So we have 70 minus 30. I know it's a bigger number, and we're kind of jumping ahead kind of crazy, but it's okay. Oh, you know what? I just realized I jumped to number 3. That's okay. We'll do this one, and then we'll jump over to number 2. That's fine. So, uh, 70 minus 30. Let's use our 100 chart first, and we'll use a picture afterwards to check our work. Okay, so let's use our 100 chart, 70 minus 30. We have to find 70 first. It's a big number, so it's going to be right here. Here is 70 with a dancing box. And we're taking away 30. So we have to figure out how many jumps that's going to be. How, hmm, how many sets of 10 are in 30? Well, it's three. So it's going to be three jumps. One, two, three. So now we just found out that 70 minus 30 is 40. Okay, 70 minus 30 is 40. And maybe we're not sure and we really want to check our work, which is fine. We can make some 10 sticks. So it's 7 10 sticks, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And we're going to take away 30. So it's going to be 3 over here. 1, 2, 3. So we have our 70 here. And we have 30 here. And how many sets of 10s are we going to take away? Well, we have 1, 2, 3. So we're going to cross out 3. 1, 2, and 3. How many sets of 10s are left? 1, 2, 3, 4. And 4 sets of 10s makes 40. So we are great. We did a great job. We have the same number here. All right, so now let's do this one. 
We're going to go back to number two here. And I'm going to roll my die. Let's see. It, wow, it landed on 30. Cool. All right. So our brand new number sentence is 30 minus 20. And uh, now we're going to use our 100 chart to figure out what 30 minus 20 is. So here we go. We have to find 30 first. It's right there. There's 30. Woo. Okay. So 30 minus 20. So we have to figure out how we take away 20. Well, 20 is 2 tens, right? There's two tens and 20. So that means we're going to take two jumps. Ready? One, two, and we stop. So this is our answer right here. 30 minus 20 is 10. All right, so now we can go back and write that. 30 minus 20 is 10. And let's say we're not too sure about how we did that, and we want to use a picture to help us, which is fine. I'm going to make 30 right there. And I'm going to make 20 a different color for us. Okay, so this 30 is our total number, our whole number. And we are taking away two tens. So let's cross out two. One, two. What do we have left? Just one. And one set of 10 is 10. So we did that right. We did a good job. So now let's go on to another one. I'm going to roll my die again. Oh, land on zero. I can't use that. I need a bigger number than that. Ooh, I landed on 8. So it's going to be 80. So, all right, 80 right there. Now we have to go to our 100 chart to find out 80 minus 40. Let's do that. So we're going to find 80. Man, where is it? It's not near 1. It's not at 100, it's right here. It's close to 100 because it's a very big number. So we are, we have 80. What are we taking away again? We're taking away 40. So how many tens are in 40? There are four tens, so we'd make four jumps. Or you could even say, you know what? We have to just look at this tens house number. There's four, so that tells us how many jumps. So with 30 minus 20, we focused on that two. It was two jumps. For 40 minus 10, it was, we looked at that tens house. It was just one jump. And 70 minus 30, it was three jumps because we have three tens. So you just look at that tens house number. 80 minus 40. So that's four jumps. One, two, three, four, or you could even count by tens if that's better for you. 10, 20, 30, 40. And we get 40. 80 minus 40 is 40. And maybe you're thinking, I hate using 100 charts. I want to use pictures. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. We can use pictures. Okay, so I'll make eight ten sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whew, it's a lot. And eight. Okay, and it's minus 40. Let me get a different color here. There we go. One, two, Three, I'm making them sloppy. Four. So we know we have to take away four, right? One, two, three, and four. 
crossed out four. We still have one, two, three, four. And four tens is 40. Let's get just a little crazier on two of them. Except we're not going to do any more pictures. Because it would take way too long. So, next we're going to do two digit numbers that are, you know, not as easy. So, let's use for this minus 20. We're going to say... 42. Getting a little crazy because now we have ones in here. So 42 minus 20. We're going to go to our 100 chart. And where's 42? Found it. Minus 20. There's two tens and 20, so it's two jumps. One, two. We're at 22. So now we can say that 42 minus 20 is... 22. Because even when we have a, a number in the ones house, when we're taking away just tens, we're only really subtracting the tens. So 4 minus 2 is 2, and this 1, the ones house number, just carries on over. That's really all it is, guys. So let's do another one. For this minus 10, let's do... Uh, Let's see, do some little crazy and weird. Let's do 15. So 15 minus 10. Looks a little weird. I wonder what's going to happen. Let's get our 100 chart. 15 minus 10. Ready? There's only one 10 in the number 10. And we make one jump. Boom. And we go towards this one here because we're subtracting. So, 15 minus 10 is 5. Because if you look at it, what's 1 minus 1? It's going to be a 0. And then this 5 stays there and comes on over. Ooh, so, a goofy looking 5. But I think you guys get the idea. With the 100 chart, it makes it real easy. We're just making jumps with the bigger number. That's it. So let's open up our packs to the inside and let's get rocking with more. All right, I'm going to give you guys just a couple seconds to open up your packets. And you should be right on the page that I am at where you see this mini 100 charts. But instead of 100, it just goes up to 50. So it's... Not the whole 100 chart, it's just the first half. Alright, and we're going to jump right into it. Because we already know what we're doing, we've done this before. Let's just jump into it. Let's see what they did. They have 43 minus 10. So we're going to find 43. Now you don't have to circle it, because I know it might mess up your paper. But I'm going to circle it for us. So I'm going to circle the 43. Just to have a better demonstration here. So 43 minus 10. And we just kind of focus on this tens house number. How many do we have in the tens house? Just one. So it means we make one jump. Poosh, right there. And we land on 33. Alright. So you can trace that 33 now. We know how they got it. So... Go ahead, guys, and do number two on your own. And I'm not going to give you too long because this shouldn't take you guys very long at all. I think I've given you know, long enough right here. So let's do it. So 30 minus 20. We're going to find the number 30 first. Okay. And it's right here. 30. And it's minus 20. So we look at this 10 house. We have two. So we know it's two jumps. Ready? One. Two. And we land on the number 10. 
And if you're uh, working on this paper, you don't want to make your paper too messy, I totally get it. You don't have to do that. You just kind of tap on this number with your pencil and make two jumps. You go tap, tap, and you land on the same number. It's the same thing, guys. You don't have to make your paper messy. I just like to make it messy on the video so you really see what's going on. So we know it's 10. Raise my little mess here. So 30 minus 20 is 10. Now, the next one's a little trickier. I'm going to have you do this one on your own first, and then we will go over it together. So I'm just going to give you a couple seconds for this one, okay? All right, I think that was enough time. If you need just a couple more seconds, hit that space bar on the Chromebook. But let's get right into it. So it's going to be 27 minus 10. But we're just going to focus on that 10's house number. First, we got to find 27. Found it. I'm going to circle it so you guys see what I'm doing. And it's minus 10. But we just focus on that 10's house number, and it's 1. So it means 1 jump. We're going to jump by 10 once, taking away, so we're making the number smaller, and... Oh, I made that a little too messy. One jump, and we land on number 17. So 27 minus 10 is 17. All right, so go ahead and do the rest on your own. Don't tell your friends the answers. I need to see who needs help so I can... Uh, work with you if you need if uh, you need some help uh or you can just come sit out the carpet with me and the other friends and just kind of maybe hearing things again might help but if you're all good to go go have fun um as soon as you're done there will be an activity for you on the back table to work on right after this packet okay after that then you can go to the fun games all right and I'll have a new Snakes and Ladders game soon with subtraction. I'll have some new puzzles with adding and subtracting 10s. I'll have tons of stuff for you guys, alright? Have fun.